today's the day. It's 420. You know what that means? We're going to... Wait, what? Oh, man, you're telling me I can't do that on camera? Ugh, okay. Well, in order to make up for it, I'm going to sniff this Angry Birds poster, because why not? And plus, there is a new episode of the show coming this Friday, so why not? Ugh, smells like the nostalgia of the early 2010s. Speaking of nostalgia, that's something I've always wanted to talk about with somebody. Heck, I'm not the only one. A lot of other people in this house wanted to talk about this topic for a while. How old should something be in order to be considered nostalgic? Because normally, you know, across, you know, the whole media, uh, a lot of things that are considered nostalgic are normally things that are either like, I don't know, 20 or 30 years old. So, I don't know. And uh, also, a couple years ago... Um, Back when we had the uh, Ingerberts Minia movies, like in individual parts instead of the uh, the entire thing, like we have now, um, one of our um, older fans—I forgot her name—but um, she commented on the on one of the parts saying, "Oh, this video is so nostalgic." And then uh, you know, we at the character workshop were like, "Huh?" Ingerberts Minia movie came out in 2012, and that was like eight years ago. Not really that old. I don't know. Well, then again, this is the internet we're talking about. Things, for whatever reason, tend to last longer on the internet than they do in real life. For some reason. So, yeah. I can kind of understand that. But I don't know. I'm kind of curious. I've been thinking about it for a while. Oh, hey, I just realized something. I'm going off topic again, but this poster was made in 2011. The year Angerbirds Mania came out. Heh. <laughs> What a coincidence. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, nostalgia. Um, hmm. How old should something be in order to be considered nostalgic? I know, like, some people nowadays, like, do consider a lot of stuff from the early 2010s to be nostalgic, which is uh, kind of insane because, like I said, less than 10 years old, it's not, you know, that old, but it's, like, you know, older than, I don't know, like, Two years ago? I'm curious. Curious about this whole nostalgia thing. I mean, then again, um... Don't want to mention this guy, but uh, Doug Walker, the nostalgia critic, you know... He's sort of breaking the rules of his series a little bit, you know... Covering a lot of modern movies, um... Which, uh... Is sort of the exact opposite of nostalgia. Weird. So, I'm curious as to what you guys think. Uh, how old should something be? It could be like a movie, a TV show, a video game, a song, YouTube video, whatever. How old do you think something should be in order for it to be considered nostalgic? Uh, feel free to comment down below. Um, as for us, I think we sort of determined that like... Um, I think something needs to be at least, I don't know, like, maybe, uh, I don't know, like, maybe around 10 years old or something in order to be considered nostalgic. I don't know. That's just our thoughts. You guys may think of something different, but that's just what I wanted to talk about. Even though I did want to, you know, do all those things, but, uh, unfortunately the producers won't let me do it because we'll get our show canceled, but, uh, yeah, um, happy 420, everybody, um... Uh, hopefully you don't get caught. I'm just kidding. Don't don't do that. I'm I'm not gonna condone stuff like that. Anyways, um, that's all I really want to say. Um, and that's about it. Uh, I know I shouldn't really be promoting other shows on this show, but uh, yeah, New Angry Birds Mania this Friday. If you guys are looking forward to that, I know a lot of you guys are. Yeah. Um. I'll see you all later. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go make fun of Jose like I normally do. 